So in this video, I'm going to show everybody how to go ahead and uh, get NIRA up and running after you've downloaded it. As you can see here, I've got the package already downloaded. A link to that package can be found below the video in the video description. It is a torrent, so try to see it if possible. I'm going to go ahead and double click my downloaded file. We're going to do uh, organize and select all. Organize and copy. Now you can place these files anywhere you want, really. Um, in my case, I'm going to just come here. Um, we'll start fresh. So create a new folder here called NIRA, for example. And then I'm going to do an organize and a paste. It's not a very big package. And now that everything's pasted, the executable we'll want to use is nira-dosbox.exe. So what I'm going to do is just create a shortcut to it. I'll cut this. I'll just move it out here to the main E drive. Paste it. It's going to rename. It's called nira. And we'll go ahead and launch. And by default, it will try to connect to an IPX server that I've set up for multiplayer gaming. That server is still a bit of a testing stage, so the more people we can get downloading the game, testing, the better. Now I've uh, tested this on a couple different desktops and a laptop. On the laptop, I had to do some tweaking to the graphics. If you run into issues where it doesn't run very smoothly, you can come in here to Options, go to Graphics, and adjust as needed. Any settings you change will be saved, so you don't have to worry about exiting the game and losing anything. So I'm going to come here to the driver car profile, so you can see everything uh, kind of looks like the old days. Um, everything's still, you know, highly customizable. The reason we chose NIRA versus like Burnout or Burnout Player's Choice Edition is because of the boost feature, of course. There's some, you know, different default ones you can select from, or you can customize them. You can load and save setups like normal. Um, we'll come out here to the test track. I'll show you that the game is, you know, completely, completely operable. Sound should work by default for you. Everything should run without too much really editing. This is the 3DFX version. It runs off some kind of cool little drivers that some guys at the DOS box had written. It's pretty interesting stuff, but the game does work great. Um, hopefully this helps anybody that's interested in uh, getting back into it. Keep in mind the game was designed, you know, for the import stuff, so a lot of the default profiles and stuff that you'll see when tuning your car will be geared towards uh, import vehicles, um, but maybe that's your thing, I'm not sure. Um, anyways, the game should run just fine. Feel free to make any comments you'd like. I'll try and post another video later uh, showing how to uh, host and join a network event. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.